Hello and welcome to the 10th session of introduction to image processing using MATLAB. In this session we will talk about histogram specification. We try to do a transformation on histogram of the input image according to the histogram of the desired image. So this is the input image that we have and this is the desired image that we have. So you can see the difference between the two and we will try to convert this to this. So we will just start off by reading first the image. So I will just close all. So image src, that's the image source is equal to I am read and we had the image flowers dot diff. My reference image was the second image that we had and it's named flowers underscore spec dot png. That's the name of the second image that we had. Now we will first separate the input images color channels. So the, since these were colored images, so IMGR, that's the red channel of the image source, is colon, comma, colons. So that is all the rows, all the columns, and the first plane. That's the R plane. So I'll just copy this, and we can have the green plane which would be the second plane of the colored image and then the blue plane. So we have all the three RGB planes extracted as three planes of my input image. So once I've done this, I will separate the reference images color channels as well. So I can just use these, copy and paste and my I can name it as IMGR2 and the image source would be in fact the reference image. So that would be the reference image. First plane, this second would be again reference images second plane and the blue plane would be the references image third plane. So now I have two separate images and I have ext extracted the RGB channels of all, both the images. Now I want to compute the histogram of the reference image. So for that I will write HNIMGR that could be any variable name and that's the IMHIST IMGR2. So what am I doing? I'm extracting the red channels histogram into HNIMGR2 variable. Similarly I will extract the HNIMGR green channel is I am hist I am G G two and the blue channel I am hist I am G two. So I have the reference histogram with me. Now I will create the histogram specification using the reference. So the out images red channel would be the hist eq and instead of just specifying the input image I will now in the second parameter specify the histogram of that particular image. So what have I done? I've done the histogram equalization on the red channel and it's specified to this particular variable which stores the histo histogram of the reference image. So I can do this for all the channels I would just need to change the variable names. So out G would be IMGB G G. The blue channel would be out B B B. So I have now the histogram specification using image reference all done. I will store this as the plane, the red plane. So I have an input now, I have a variable hist sp which is the histogram specification which variable name and I specify this to be out r. So the hist sp, the green panel or the green channel would have the out g variable hist specific the blue channel would be the blue component out G 
energy. So once this is done, I will just plot all the values now. So I just plot the figures now. In the first subplot, I show the reference image. The second subplot, I show the type input image. And in the fourth subplot, I show the resultant image. The resultant image is the hist sp. The three channels of this hist sp were assigned to the histogram equalization done on each and every channel of the input image. Then I subplot for the histogram specification. I divide it into nine parts. In the first plot, I'm showing the HNIMGR, which is the red input image. Then the green input is shown in the uh, su other subplot, the fourth subplot. The seventh subplot shows the blue input. On the second in sub input, we are showing the red reference channel. The green reference channel is also plotted, the blue reference channel. And similarly, we get on the third column the red result, the red green result, and the blue result. So let's see how it, this goes. Okay, so we have the image now. This was my reference image, this was my input image, and the resultant image which we get is pretty close to the reference image that we wanted. So we are able to do the histogram specification on this image. You can see the channels, how they look like. So this was my red input. This is the kind of input that we had. The reference image had this kind of a red input and the resultant is pretty close to the reference channel. Similarly, the green appeared like this. The green reference was this and this is the resultant and sim the blue input was like this. The blue reference was something like this and resultant is something which is closer to the reference. So this bring brings us to the end of the histogram specification. You could also do the histogram equalization on a single gray channel. It would be much simpler. You wouldn't have to divide it into different channels and hence the histogram specification would be easily possible. So this brings us to the end of this lecture. Thank you.